What's up guys, it's Jerry from Awkward Gaming and I'm finally doing another class build video after the uh, strongest new build video I did a while back. Uh, this is going to be a teleporting Saiyan build. It is a much more skill based build than the last one. And uh, this build only works for Saiyans because it only works with Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, and Future Super Saiyan, which I have all three. Uh, I have Cherry here from Xenoverse 1 and uh, she was a spammer back in Xenoverse 1 but since she can't spam anymore she's got a new trick up her sleeve. Or, I mean, she's wearing a tank top, she's not really wearing sleeves anymore, but alright, let's go see what the build is. She also has a new haircut, which looks really nice on her. Uh, let's go to the uh, boost attribute points. We have 115 in health, uh, 125 in key blast supers, I don't know why I went to the bottom. 0 in basic, 0 in strike, 25 stamina, and, uh, what is this, 67 in key. So explaining the 125 uh, Key Blast Super, we're a Key Blaster. All of our moves that uh, have us warping or teleporting are Key Blast moves. So we want to do the max amount of damage with them. And we did talk to Guru. We have done the Guru quest, so we can get up to 125 on each stat if we wanted to or if we had enough points. Zero basic, zero strike, that's self-explanatory. We're a Key Blaster, we don't need them. but. Even with zero in basic, she still has a lot. Like that pie chart, like she has more damage output in her basic than she does in her stamina, or the lines like bigger or whatever. Twenty-five in stamina with the QQ bang that we are wearing, we have exactly six bars of stamina, so we can do three snap banishes and two evasives, which is the bare minimum of what I think is good because we don't want too much stamina. If you have too much stamina, when your stamina gets broken, if it does. Um, it's going to take a lot longer for it to recover, so 6 seems to be a good number for me. 6 or 7. Uh, 67 in key, this gives us exactly 7 bars of key, which is really good for doing 2 ultimates in a row when we have the chance to, and 1 super attack just in case. And 115 in health, that's here because um, Saiyan females do have the uh, lowest amount of health than any other race. So we just need that to back us up. If I didn't mention this before, she is the second tallest height and thinnest weight. That's just because that's how she was in the last game. Uh, if you're doing this for yourself, I would recommend the tallest height and thinnest weight because you want uh, the most amount of health as possible. Okay, go into the equipment. She's wearing whatever she wants. It's all about the QQ bang right here. Um, this is just a really simple QQ bang. I could spend more time trying to get a better one, but this seems to work out just fine. If you want the same stats for this QQ bang without actually getting this QQ bang, what you can do is get the Time Patroller outfit, which I don't think I have. I have it on another character. It basically looks like the training suit, except it has uh, the Time Patroller symbol on the back instead of the you know, regular one. You can get that from the TP shop. And for the Super Soul, we have this is a real Kamehameha. Because of our skills, two of our moves are Kamehameha moves, which is where the damage output really uh, takes place. It's it's so good. Like one attack with the Z Soul, uh, the right attack, can actually do almost as much as an ultimate, which is pretty amazing, with the cost of like one key. Alright, now going to the skill, which is like the most important part of this build. These are the skills that uh, cause you to teleport, at least the super attacks, cause you to teleport um, when you have Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, or Future Super Saiyan on. So we got Kamehameha, because we want that uh, that super soul to activate when we use the move. We could use times 10 Kamehameha, but the charge is much longer and I don't appreciate that. Uh, Gallic Gun as the primary attacking one because it is the fastest and if you charge it up all the way it does teleport like everything else. Evil Explosion, same thing, charges. It has a much bigger reach um, than the previous two that I mentioned, so that's why it's pretty good. It's a lot shorter though, but it's wider. And Big Bang Kamehameha. I use this one the most often because it has the longest reach, it's the widest, it does take the longest to charge up all the way, but when it does, with the Z Soul, or I mean Super Soul, it takes away like almost a bar of health. It's just amazing. For the ultimate attacks, I have Special Beam Cannon and Super Kamehameha. Um, the Super Soul does not uh, benefit Super Kamehameha, it only benefits um, the super attacks, which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. And uh, Special Beam Cannon, these two moves can be whatever you want, I just chose them because uh, I'm just, I just know how to use them. If you want, you can replace these with whatever you think is really good. Like, I don't know, if you think uh, Hells and Grenade is really good for you, then by all means go ahead and use it. 
For the Awoken skill, like I mentioned before, this only works with Super Vegeta, Future Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan, the regular Super Saiyan. Um, I'm using Super Vegeta for this one because uh, Super Vegeta is meant for Key Blasters. This does the most amount of damage. Uh, Future Super Saiyan is like right, like if you want to scale by how much um, damage output you get for each transformation, Super Vegeta gives you the most for Key Blast Supers, followed by Potential Unleash. That does not work with this build. Then Super Saiyan, and I think uh, Future Super Saiyan is like right next to each other. I haven't tested those out yet. And for the evasive skill, we have Angry Shout. This can be also whatever you want. I just chose this one because if I ever need that bar of key, um, it's there just in case. Alright, so that is the build. We are going to go get our friend Ryan from Ryguy Gaming to show off how it works. So I'll see you guys when we're there. Yeah, it's going to run into everything. Alright guys, we got Ryguy here from Ryguy Gaming and uh, he's going to help show off how the build actually works. I'm going to throw a couple of tips and tricks as we play and uh, right. I mean, this build does have a couple weaknesses like you do have to charge up all the moves in order for you to teleport and sometimes they don't even teleport you if they're in like within a certain like vicinity which um, I've noticed happen a couple times which kind of sucks also um, you are able to like get some of these moves to hit more often if you do a stamina break but if you do a stamina break you might as well do um, uh, what's it called the ultimates Let's see. So yeah, I don't have the Z Soul like Ryan does, but uh, uh, if I did, I'd probably go Super Vegeta right away. But then that would make some of the attacks a little weaker. Which it I actually decreases. Right. I mean, if I, their I mean, strength? no. Well, actually, yes, because like Super, uh, well, Big Bang Kamehameha won't have the Super Soul backing it up. Okay, got you. All right, let's transform. There you go. And all we gotta do is get him into a little combo. Knock away, and then use Big Bang right there. Damn! Oh, it fell right into it. But yeah, as you see, it did like almost a bar of damage to him. And let's hit him with the Evo Explosion. And that was a super? That was a super, yeah. Damn. It's because the Super Soul helps it out. And then, you know, Evo Explosion also teleports you. Um, other moves that I think this might work for, definitely times 10 Kamehameha. Um, mm. it's pretty much any move that requires, like, a charge. I'm not sure if there yep. are any other moves that do that. But, I th uh... I think... I think one? it relies heavily on stand breaks or, like, knocking your opponent down on a chain. It's knocking them down, yes. If you stand in a break, then you might as well, like, use, uh, an ultimate. So we got Future Super Saiyan yeah. here, which does, this build does work for. So depending on your playstyle, if you want to do more damage, you know, Super Vegeta. If you want to do more damage, like basic attack, I'd use Super Saiyan. Like the different levels of Super Saiyan. And, you know, Future Super Saiyan, which is basically Super Saiyan 1, kind of. Oh, jeez, you started moving before, like, I could. That happens sometimes. Universe 2. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang. I don't have enough to do the move. Yet. All right, yeah, future Super Saiyan. All right, let's see if we can. There you go. Keep the train oh, rolling. Back hit. And Big Bang Kamehameha to finish off. If we can get it to teleport, which it didn't right there, which kind of sucks. Uh, but we do have command man to do this. Oh, you transformed. So if you're good at like perfect blocking, which I'm not, or grappling, you know you can grapple your opponent and then do some damage. Um, if they're running away, there you go, just like that. Oh, do nice! Do explosion. Do some damage. Got them. So yeah, a lot of people notice that this could happen because they play as like Super Trunks and then uh, do Super Saiyan and just charge up their Galak Gun. But yeah, works with future Super Saiyan. Pretty easy. Mm. Alright, let's show off uh, Super Saiyan 3 and then hopefully you guys get the idea how the, the build works. 
It look so far it's looked like it's working very well. Yeah, so far. But again, like all the builds, like they go off like the skill of the whoops of the person, and you know sometimes I mess up. Nothing I can really do about that. Super Saiyan three yeah. is kind of the hardest one to use because um, what's it, it called? Requires the, the stamina, the not the stamina. Yeah, the key doesn't build up as fast for Super Saiyan three, but it does give a lot of like basic attack in, uh, increase. Even though we have zero in basic attack, we can still do a lot of damage with it. What do you have, Super Vegeta? Yeah, Super Vegeta. Ah, jeez. Ah, couldn't get the perfect block off. Damn, I hit me twice. Alright, we got enough to transform. There you go. Super Saiyan 3 females. With that long hair. Uh. Hey. I wish there's the girl person. Super Saiyan. Yeah, they're like zero on the show, aren't there? Yeah. I, I wish have... Pan would turn Super Saiyan. Oh, wrong move. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you anyway. Oh. I know it's deadly. That one's annoying. That. Oh, something weird happened right there. Like it hit me, but it didn't do all its damage. Oh. I, I snap vanished. I saw. Oh yeah, that's the, kind of the downside of this build too. You need key. But you know, we do have all that health. There nice. you go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Ryan's channel. Uh, link will be in the description below. And check out our Twitter at twitter.com slash goawkwardgaming. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.